Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today we are going to be jumping down into the charts for Bitcoin to see what's been going on most recently with the price action of BTC. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so, you'll be kept up to date with all the videos that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't yet joined us in Discord, links in the description down below. Fantastic community talking to crypto 24 7 it's completely free to join and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check it out right let's uh let's get right into this analysis of btc so we have bitcoin here paired up with uh, usdt we're on the hourly chart and binance is our data source now we have five waves going up okay um right here now i've adjusted this for yesterday's uh fluctuations uh, because again we thought this might have been tracking some kind of uh impulsive structure we had a really short ABC come down in this wave four now um, and then we actually hit that wave five then we saw this bleed out and it's bled out quite bad now this does actually have an impact on where we're likely to go next um, before we actually start to see a bigger crash okay because I do still think that $35,000 is still something that we should be thinking about and be expecting to occur and um, so as we start to review this we can kind of see exactly what's kind of going on from a technical perspective right so with five waves coming up uh, just over here right so we've had these five waves uh, the next thing to expect would always be three waves um, and we've got one clear wave here so we should expect a bounce and then a more downside okay but we shouldn't really come down lower than this low okay this actually comes in at about 38,500 uh, we shouldn't really come down lower than that um, it's possible that you can and it becomes an expanding flat or something like that uh, but it still has the uh, 535 structure but uh, for the most part um, typically what we're, we're expecting is is some kind of bounce up some kind of pull back down and uh, eventually th that would be as a, a five wave move going up afterwards okay that basically is going to complete a five three five and um, so there's a lot going on here and um, so let's just focus in on this kind of crash or this correction right now okay so if we take our uh, low point just down here to the high point this side uh, we should think about where we're likely to bounce up to okay and this b wave can be you know pretty uh you know um how do i put it like sporadic it, it can be multiple different things you know it, it has no real consistency to it uh, essentially it can be uh, as deep as 88 percent retracement it could be as shallow as 50 percent retracement okay so for me i'm going to mark this up just it's going to be quite broad but i'll, I'll put it about here and um, this will help us understand, uh, you know, approximately that 88 kind of percent all the way through to about 50 percent. So what I'm thinking is we we actually have some kind of uh, corrective pattern like this. OK, and we'll come back down and we'll come down reasonably low. And then from there, we should start to see these next five waves coming up. OK, now, if we take the um, worst case scenario, which will be the lower end of this, the 50 percent retracement, about 41,300. Uh, if we take that into consideration, what we can do, of course, is um, what I do is I'll just remove uh, what I do. Actually, before I remove the fib, I'm going to just mark this box up for, so we understand where this is likely to go. OK, before we before we see retracement, let me just pull that in here. OK, um, so this is uh, a little bit on the higher side. Let me just adjust. Uh, that fraction here let me just pull this down it's about 30 to the outside oh, good um and then right about here is uh, 89 so not too bad but we just need to come down a fraction with this one um see i'll pop it back there that's good okay let me remove the fib um so essentially what we've got is a big a wave we'll look for the bounce that'll come in here about 41 to 42 um and if we were to then think that we we're going to come to this this point we can uh, we can take our five wave measurement here and on the understanding that this is actually an a wave this being a b wave and we'll see a c wave going up um essentially what we should be doing is, is thinking that uh, this is going to be a one-to-one -one ratio which means the size of these five waves could also be reflected uh, on this move over here as well okay so i'm just going to park that fib there and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to move uh, grab this one again this should also be a one-to-one -one ratio uh, at least typically it's a one-to-one -one ratio and then our c wave would be all the way down here Okay, I'll park that there. Our C wave should finish at about 38,000. Um, and again, this uh, scenario, on this worse case scenario, we lose this low. Okay, so that would basically indicate that we would only push up 
um, you know, maybe a little bit higher. Maybe we'll come up to that 1.236 at 43 and uh, 43,750, um, and that would be an expanding flat. If, however, we were to move to the higher end of the spectrum, uh, which I think is probably more likely, um, but we'll just check a few things here as well. Uh, this would actually then allow us to have a more standardized ABC zigzag pattern, um, and that would put us at about 39,000. Okay, and then we move on up to about 43,800. Okay, so there's quite a few things going on here. Uh, essentially, if I zoom out for a moment, uh, we were talking about $44,500. That's no longer necessarily viable unless we overwick, which we can talk about that later. Let me just remove that off though for now. Um, what we're really talking about is this is a big A, this is a big B, this will be a big C. Okay, and it'll be like this. All of that equates to a B wave on our daily chart, which will then usher us into a C wave coming down lower. Okay, um, so that's kind of what we're looking at on the on the smaller time frame. It's quite complicated. There's quite a lot going on here. Don't want to confuse people too much. Um, but essentially, we should be moving up now. Okay, we take a look at the stochastic RSI. It's already moving up. Um, it's not moving up massively though, so we should be uh, you know cautious at this point that actually we drop down much faster and we don't have a bounce to that significance again. B waves are unpredictable. The stochastic RSI is telling us we're not likely to move up into this B range. Um, but I have drawn it up there because that's a typical area. Um, it's really hard to know exactly where a B wave is going to go. Um, so right now it could move up there, but there's a probability that it probably, you know, actually won't reach those levels and we'll just come back down, finish off the C wave and then go into five waves up afterwards. Now on the four hourly chart, we're already oversold. So that's actually in a really good spot. OK, um, we want the eight hourly It's actually not too bad. We, we want to move up only a fraction more. We don't want to do anything too glamorous. And the daily is right up there as well. The weekly is coming down, so that's been pretty good. So overall, the, the Bitcoin's kind of doing what I would expect it to do. There's a bit of volatility, a few unexpected moves with markets moving around a bit rapidly at times. Um, you know, various pieces of news might break and, and move the market in a different direction. Um, but essentially, what Elliott Wave is doing here is it's basically tracking people's behavior in the market. Um, it's because we've had five waves come up and there's going to be selling pressure afterwards, we'd expect five waves to go up after that. To which um, I think our macro trend would then take over and we would see five waves come down to mirror the five waves that came down already um, from our high point of $48,000. OK, um, so uh, everything here is it's running pretty much exactly as you would expect it to based on the psychology of the markets and people's behavior inside it. OK, so essentially everything here is looking pretty good from a BTC perspective. Um, I'm going to shoot up into the daily right now. OK, and I'm just going to talk about what's going on over here. Uh, essentially, we have the ABC up. We're tracking an ABC down. This larger ABC on our daily time frame is also a 535. Uh, we've had five waves come down over this section just here okay and we are tracking the smaller five um three five going up in a b wave okay and then we're going to expect to happen uh or have to see five waves come down um and that'll be the the final five waves over here coming down taking us to a low of $35,000 in my opinion um but that is subject to change because it all depends on how high our B wave goes as to how low our C wave will go. Okay, so this was based on moving up to $44,000. Um, and if we only move up to $43,000, well, this will be down slightly lower as well. Ideally, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we set another higher low like we have done previously, just over here. And then we'll consistently set that up a trend, which will be fantastic. Um, so overall, um, Bitcoin's actually tracking quite well. There's not too much more I'm going to say. So join us in Discord if you want more frequent updates. We talk about Bitcoin a lot down there since it's the market leader um so yeah check out discord link is in the description down below guys if you found this useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you'll be kept up to date with everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one